Hi, Rick Chalinas, the NCAP man. Today we're going to talk about how to get past the gatekeeper. Who's the gatekeeper? The gatekeeper is a person in every uh, large or successful company whose purpose in life is to keep you from talking to who you need to talk to. Could be a receptionist, secretary, whoever. And you see, in commercial selling, it's very important that you get to go face to face, that you get to talk to the person that you're selling to. It's not very likely that they're just going to see an advertisement somewhere, pick up the phone and call you. It happens sometimes, but not very often. In most cases, you need to be more proactive. You need to get out there and talk to people. So how do you get to talk to these important people that are going to help you by hiring your company to clean their commercial carpets? Especially when there's that nasty gatekeeper there whose sole purpose in life is to make it difficult for you, to keep you from talking to the person you need to talk to. Well, I've learned a little trick that I'm going to share with you now that gets me past the gatekeeper most of the time. Here's how it goes. First thing you want to do is choose the right accounts. Select a few you really want to target, ones you want to go after. Then what you do is you call them on the phone. You say, hi, my name is Rick with Clean Step. I'd like to speak to the person who's in charge of your commercial carpet cleaning. Well, at this point, they're going to shut you down. They're going to say, oh, no, 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 no. We're all set. We've got somebody that does it, blah, 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 whatever. All they want to do is get you off the phone so they can get back to playing solitaire or whatever else they were doing before you so rudely interrupted their mundane day, right? Well, at this point, what you want to do is this. This is the trick. Say, oh, okay, I understand. You're all set. Can I just send you some information in the mail that will introduce our company to you? You know what they're going to say? Sure, go ahead. Knock yourself out, right? No, we don't care. Just get off the phone. I'm busy. Now you add this little part to the question. This is the million dollar question. Who do I make that attention to? Who am I going to send it to? And invariably, in this conversation, this gatekeeper is going to slip and give you the person's name. Send that to Bill Jackson. Now you've got it. You have the person's name who's in charge of the commercial carpet cleaning for their business. So what you do now is you send Bill a letter and a flyer and invariably, Bill may not even see it because most mail today gets tossed right in the trash. That's why you got to go face to face. Thinking you're just going to have a really slick looking flyer is probably not going to do a lot of selling today because junk mail has uh, taken over and invariably your stuff that you send is going to end up in the trash. That's not the point of sending it to him. The point of sending him a letter is that you can call back next week again. And this time you call, you say, hi, my name is Rick with Clean Step. I'd like to speak with Bill Jackson. Now the gatekeeper stops you again and says, what's this in reference to? You say, I sent Bill some information about commercial carpet cleaning, and I'm calling him back to discuss it with him. You see, she knows Bill takes care of the commercial carpet cleaning, and since you've sent him information already, you're probably somebody Bill wants to talk to. Ah, now you see the trick here. You've gotten past the gatekeeper, and she puts you right through to Bill. Now, it's true you might get his voicemail. Don't be discouraged. We live in the world of voicemail today. You might have to call a few times. You may have to leave some creative voicemails to get his attention, but this little trick will get you Bill's name. Now you can target him directly. You can send him appropriate information in the mail, and you can call him on the phone, try to reach him. You can even walk in and, and try to get an appointment with him, but this little uh, way of getting his name and getting the right person has worked for me, and nine times out of ten, it's going to get you past the gatekeeper and uh, in front of the person you need to talk to. So hopefully this will help you. Don't be afraid. Go after those commercial accounts. As you do these uh, techniques that we're discussing on our NCAP blog, it will help you to become more effective. These are things I've learned from trial and error, and I hope it will help you too. I'm the NCAP man. If there's anything we can do here at Excellent Supply, please give us a call. We're, we'll help you any way we can. So have a great day, and I wish you success as you build your commercial carpet cleaning business.